I'd like to thank you for being here. In the last five years, our government's worked tirelessly to build a more open, more equal, and more prosperous Canada. We've accomplished a lot. One million jobs created in the first four years, more than a million Canadians pulled out of poverty, and historic steps towards a stronger, greener, and more inclusive economy. I firmly believe that more Canadians from all walks of life are closer today to achieving their dreams than when we took office. But we also know that this pandemic has created many obstacles to progress here and around the world. Canada tackled this crisis head on. While we didn't get everything right, I know that the cost of inaction would have been far greater. Canadians are better off today because their federal government stepped in and decided to protect them. That work is far from over. There's much more work to do as we transition to recovery. I met with the Prime Minister today to inform him that I did not intend to run again in the next federal election. It's never been my plan to run for more than two federal election cycles. As we move to the next phase of our fight against the pandemic and pave the road towards economic recovery, we must recognize that this process will take many years. It's the right time for a new finance minister to deliver on that plan for the long and challenging road ahead. That's why I'll be stepping down as finance minister and as member of parliament for Toronto Centre. No matter what, I know that with this Liberal government, Canadians will be in good hands. I still intend to continue to serve and have decided to put my name forward to become the next Secretary General of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. The Prime Minister has given me his full support in this quest. I'll be spending the next few weeks preparing for this bid. We've always said that Canada and the world needs more Canadian leadership, not less. I will come to this new challenge with the lived experience of, of having built a more inclusive and fairer Canada. J'ai rencontré le premier ministre aujourd'hui pour l'informer que je n'avais pas l'intention de me présenter aux prochaines élections. Je n'ai jamais prévu me présenter pendant plus de deux cycles électoraux. Alors que nous passons à la phase suivante de notre lutte contre la pandémie et que nous travaillons à préparer la reprise économique, nous devons reconnaître que ce processus prendra plusieurs années. Le moment est venu pour un nouveau ministre de Finances de mettre en œuvre ce plan pour le long et difficile chemin devant nous. C'est pourquoi je démissionnerai de mon poste de ministre de Finances et de député de Toronto Centre. Je sais qu'avec ce gouvernement libéral, les Canadiens sont entre de bonnes mains. J'ai toujours l'intention de continuer à servir et j'ai décidé de proposer mon nom pour devenir le prochain secrétaire général de l'Organisation de coopération et de développement économique. Le premier ministre m'a donné son plein appui. Je passerai les prochaines semaines à me préparer. Nous avons toujours dit que le monde avait besoin de plus de leadership canadien, pas moins. Et je viendrai à, nous, à ce défi, nouveau défi avec toute l'expérience d'avoir contribué à bâtir un Canada plus inclusif et plus juste. I first got into politics because I believed it was the place I could make the biggest difference for people. As Minister of Finance, I worked to make an impact while holding the highest regard for the office and knowing the privilege that I had to fulfill that role. I want to thank the Prime Minister for giving me this life-changing opportunity. Together, we've put in place historic policies that have and will continue to shape the lives of Canadians. More money for hard-working families with the Canada Child Benefit, a more generous and secure retirement with the Canada Pension Plan, and the foundations for a strong and resilient economy. We did it with the help of an outstanding public service who demonstrated their talent and creativity time and time again, both before and during the pandemic. I want to thank in particular the officials at the Finance Department 
and the staff in my office for their work over these past five years. I want to thank the residents of Toronto Centre. It's truly been an honour to serve as your Member of Parliament. I also want to commend all my fellow Members of Parliament in my party and across party lines. Your work on behalf of Canadians is essential to our democracy. And finally, I want to thank my family. Politics is, is always difficult, especially for families. I could not have served Canadians without, without their support over these past five years. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.